Today's review is brought to you by Jonathan Joaquin and Think Tank Photo. Be ready before the moment. All right, guys, first thing I want to talk about are the accessories here. We have a pretty good amount of accessories that comes with the bag. Um, you can actually get this bag on thinktankphoto.com. Thank you guys for sending me this out. I actually got this for Christmas, but I haven't had the time to review it. So here's the review. Um, this is available for 170 bucks, which is really expensive, but believe me, this is quality, quality stuff. Um, so this is the Urban Disguise 50. It's a pretty nice bag, and we'll get into the bag later. Like I said before, we're going to go with the accessories here. Um, first things we have here are the dividers for the main, you know, from the main pocket that uh, for the camera um, accessories, and we'll go into that later um, once I get into that pouch. Here we have the divider for... I guess making this thing snug for your laptop. Uh, the Urban Disguise 50 fits about a 15 inch MacBook Pro really nicely. I have a 13 inch so I do use this divider to make this nice and snug in there. And here we have the shower cap. Now this is what it, it, that is exactly what it is. The shower cap. I'll probably post a video about this uh, within the video itself. <laughs> But let's unravel this. And like I said, it is a shower, you know, a shower cap. You can put this on your head and whatnot. Yeah, it fits well. So if you're shooting outdoors during a rainy um, scene, you know, you can put this out there. It's ideal for like football, um, some soccer shots as well. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I used it for. So um, that's pretty nice for them to send out. I think this is like twenty or thirty dollars on their um, on their website if you get this separately. And here we have. I'm looking at this. The Pee Wee Pixel Pocket Rocket. Now this is really cool. What I love about this, it holds all your SD cards. Um, it, it holds some Express cards if if you guys use that. But um, I use a good amount. I have micro SDs. I have regular SDs. I have a five, twelve, a one gig. A 2 gig, a micro 1 gig. So these are all really old. Um, this is, what is this? $13.50 on their website. If you want to get the bigger one, that is the Pixel Pocket Rocket, just the regular one. And this one holds up to, this one holds four CF cards. The regular one that goes for $16.50, it's blue. And it goes for $16.50. This one goes for $13.50. So this one, I actually really like this a lot. So. See if I can focus on that for you guys. Hopefully I can. There you go. It's really nice. Nice and simple. Again, you can actually use this for is on the back here. There's a little pocket. Put your business card in here. Really holds it nicely. You have a bungee. So there are a lot of different, um, I guess, strings you can put it on here. And it will hold it very snug. And we'll actually get into the bag right now. Alright, so one of the first things that you're going to look at is the bag itself, but I did forget something that, you know, usually to me, um, I don't really think of as an accessory, but it is very important. I use it every day. It is the um, shoulder strap. Now, this is a very nice shoulder strap. Again, for that 170, you get a really nice padding. Um, on this side, you have very nice grip on this side. Um, not much else on this one, but that's pretty much it. Uh, this can go, I think I'm five foot, what, five foot seven. So four foot is the max it can reach. You uh, want it to do the maximum. And that's pretty much it for the shoulder strap. I actually really like it a lot. Um, you can put it in here, um, in here as well. And there's actually one, two, three, and four over there on that side as well. So you can use it there. So we're gonna do the back first. Uh, the back is really nice. Take these out. Um, you have one zipper here, which is one huge, huge pocket. You can put like folders in there, some paperwork. Um, I should actually do, I should use that for paperwork. <laughs> I never use it, I do use it for school a lot. Um, we have another one, this is by Velcro. Uh, now it is closed, but down here, you have this really nice Velcro, and you can unzip it, so you can put, it opens up like that. So we're going to zip that back up, and this will lock it in place really nicely. 
Um, another pocket over here is for business cards. Again, they always think about your business if you're running this. I would imagine, you know, if you are buying this, you would be running a business of some sort. Um, and it does look very professional. So, uh, let's go to the front now. You do have handle handles over here if you don't feel like using the shoulder strap and whatnot. But it does get in the way when you're trying to do a review. Uh, we have one huge zipper here. Um, pocket on the inside. I use this for primarily my mini display port to VGA adapter. Um, my thumb drives. And I think that's about it. You have some pencil holders over here. And you have this. Now there's like three of them in here. Two or three of them. Now you can put your wallet. I like to call it the wallet. The wallet of SD cards. And holds it very snug. You're not going to lose that thing at all. But one big problem of this bag is it has a lot of Velcro in it. I'm not a big fan of Velcro because when you're trying to take a test and you're trying to take something out when you're finished the test, it's very loud. So um, Next we have another Velcro pocket. Flip that up. Two pockets in here. Very nice. I don't know what you would use this for. Probably for some flash. Um, again, you do have this thing if you want to put the wallet in here. I don't use it that much because I like to have my wallet on the outside so it's easier to uh, access. So that's actually really nice and there's a buckle if you want to lock it into place like so which is really nice and you can extend this to a good amount. So yeah now we're going to go to the inside of the bag. Alright now we're going to go to the inside the main pockets of what I use this bag for for college um, is this first one. This one is for the laptop. It fits uh, a MacBook Pro pretty nicely. I have a 13 inch one and uh, it fits really snug but you have to use this. Uh, the divider or the, the snuggie? <laughs> I don't know. The snuggler? Just to make everything right. But first we're going to do the MacBook Pro uh, 13 inch. So we're going to put this MacBook Pro in. It's got the spec see-through satin in there. It's going to hold really nicely. And you can put this in on the very end. So that way it can be really snug. That's going to be very difficult <laughs> to hit that bottom one because of all this Velcro. And the inside, you can put this anywhere. It's pretty much very attractive to Velcro. <laughs> okay, so that's a bit of a fail, but you get the idea. It goes all the way through, and um, it would hold your MacBook Pro very snug if you're a big freak of, uh, I guess, moving it around and whatnot. So that's pretty much it. And then we're going to go into the bigger por portion of the bag. Okay, now we have finally reached the bigger portion of the bag. Um, this is what I used to put my camera in. And if you're a college student, this is really awesome. It has a lot, a lot of room. Um, I used to use this for my chemistry textbook before I sold it. And uh, it fit really nicely, especially with the dividers. Um, it's not going to be making any noise at all. So, sorry, it just gets pretty loud. Um, again, a lot of Velcro. Here we have one divider. Put this in. These ones usually go at the end. Um, I use these ones for to hold my battery chargers, I believe. Yeah, I have like the Apple charger for my iPhone, um, the battery charger for the camera, uh, the charger for my laptop. And I put these at the ends because those chargers are really thin. Well, they're supposed to be. And they uh, fit really nicely in here, so they're not going to take up much room. And I don't like the wrestling of it, so... Again, a lot of Velcro. Not too bad for this one. But still, a lot more room in there. And you do get an extra pocket in there. You can hold, hook something up on here if you want. Some keychains. Um, I don't know what I use this for inside pocket for, but I think it was copy books. Because I have my laptop over on this side. Um, my textbook and some copy books in there. I fit about two or three copy books in there with the textbook, so it's pretty good. Now with these ones, these dividers, what's really cool is that they do fold down so they're not taking much height. So I'm going to do that right now. Let's get that right there. 
I would divide, if I'm not using this for my textbooks, I would divide the lens um, for my camera, which is an 18 to 55. I plan on getting an, um, a 1.8 pretty soon, but they're back ordered, I think. I, last time I checked was like last night on B&H and um, Best Buy, they were sold out as well. So I don't know what's going on with that, but these do work really well. Um, use them for the camera and the, the camera body itself and uh, which one call it and the lens like I said before so we're gonna put these back in here not the best work but it will do for a review not using this professionally yet um, so I have the shower curtain the shower curtain the shower cap in here so it fits really snug in there uh, put a camera body in there if you want I would imagine it would hold the three, D3S really nicely uh, it would hold a pretty large um, lens in there, lens as well in there, which is really nice. So when you close this thing up, we're heading to the end here. What I like about these zippers is you can lock them. They do have little holes on them, so you can put a lock in there, hold it really nicely. So if you're going, if you're traveling by plane or anything like that, and you want to check this thing in, it's definitely, definitely an ideal bag. So I think that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything pocket pretty much um, I have to say this is a really nice bag thank you guys for sending this thing out it's really helpful uh, for college and um, that's pretty much it guys so if you guys enjoyed this video please comment please like please subscribe and you can add me as a friend as well um, go on thinktinkphoto.com if you guys want to get this one or if you want to get a smaller bag I believe there's a 30 there's a 40 this is the 50 and there's a 60 which holds a 17 inch MacBook Pro really, really nicely. So that's it for me. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.